Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It gives me a great pleasure to welcome you all to the Tufted Duck Hotel on this very happy occasion. We're assembled here today in order that I may solemnise your marriage in the presence of these witnesses in accordance with the law of Scotland. Ross and Rachel wish to declare their marriage vows before you, their closest friends and family. Your presence here today is to witness their commitment to each other and is a sign of your good wishes for their future happiness. They are grateful for the love and the support they receive from you and they look forward to this continuing throughout their marriage. That's all you need I can't describe your eyes But they're as blue as the sea Your heart, it beats in perfect time with me Baby, you know that I want mine If we get no rest till the sunrise Shows your face, I can never be the same. I plan to love you all my life until you meet your chariot. I remember when Ross was born, I was so proud to be the father of that baby boy. Today I'm proud to be father of the man I see here, starting a family of his own, and a great adventure and a beautiful new wife, Rachel. Rachel, it's been a great pleasure getting to know you over the last few years. I know Ross, how lucky he is to have you. The rest of your wonderful family here to celebrate with us. It's a truly joyous day. So just breathe. Breathe in, release, you know that's all you need. I'd like to thank you all for coming here today and spending our special day with us. There are times when it's good to be surrounded by people who are important to you, and this is one of these moments. Beats and I can't seem to dream Baby, you know that I want mine If we get no rest till the sunrise Until you make me fall in love again This light shows your face commitment based on mutual love and respect. It requires devotion and the ability to listen, tolerance, trust and acceptance. It expects both to stay true to each other in sickness and in health, happiness or sadness, whether the going be easy or hard. It calls for both parties to know when they are in the wrong and the strength to put things right when needed. The vows you are about to make should not be made lightly nor lightly be put aside. Look at one another and remember this moment in time. Before this moment, you have been many things to one another. Acquaintance, friend, companion, lover, even teacher, for you have learned much from one another during your time together. Soon you will say a few words that will take you across the threshold of life. For after today, you can say to the world, this is my husband and this is my wife. Please turn to face each other and join your hands together. I join myself to you. May our days be long and may they be seasoned with love, understanding and respect. I come here today to join my life to yours before this company. In their presence I pledge to be true to you. No matter what we may encounter together, I vow here that this love be my only love. When you fall, I will catch you. When you cry, I will comfort you. Come health and happiness, I will stand with you. Everything I am and everything I have is yours from this moment on.
Rachel is not just my wife, but my best friend. It seems like yesterday I was cruising about in my pimped up Corsa, showing off at the, showing off at the gravies to try and impress her. Finally, we'd like to raise a glass for my beautiful wife, the one I love, Rachel. Growing up with the two of you, I've had the pleasure of knowing you both separately, as well as knowing you as a couple. You bring out the best in one another. Everyone can see the love between you both and the friendship that you share. Anyone who knows you can say for certain that you are destined for a lifetime of happiness together. And I can't think of a couple more ready for this journey. I couldn't ever have imagined a bride more perfect for my friend Ross. Thank you, Rachel. <laughs>